Okay, so to get started, you can clearly see that I have a lot of imperfections on my face. I have a lot of red blotchiness, and it's mostly just from like scratching my face today. But, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair out of my face just to keep my stubborn hair from getting in the way. And it's a little windy today too, so that helps a lot. I'm just gonna stick that. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all my primers on. So for my face one, I'm using the Hard Candy Color Correcting Primer. And what this does is basically just um, takes away some of the redness. It kind of brings it down. Not too much, but enough for me to be able to notice a really fine difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that on my face. So now that I have my primer on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit. And since I want a really flawless um, look, I'm gonna use, um, what would you say? A kind of like a full coverage foundation. And if you don't wanna use a full coverage, that's fine. Use whatever works for you, what you feel. Um, would give you a flawless look. I'm gonna go ahead and stick all of this on my face. It's gonna look like a scary ghost. What's good about this foundation is that it doesn't make you look cakey. And I've noticed, for me at least, I don't have a lot of problem with like build up because it just goes on so smoothly. Get some on my chin because I'm breaking out around my face.
So I just want to pat that in there. And then I'm going to take a regular like fluffy powder brush. And again, I'm going to spray it a little bit with some setting powder. And then I'm going to go in and go and like blend it all out. That way it looks softer. And then maybe I won't look so ghosty. Okay, I think I got it all blended in nicely. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my MAC Select Cover Up in NC30, which this is um, a concealer, but it was really, really too dark for um, under eyes like to use as a concealer, like compared to this. And so what I usually use this for is I use it for like a light contour, like if I'm gonna be contouring like I am now. Um, if I don't want too deep of a brown, this gives me just like a nice natural, I feel it gives me a natural color. So as you can see compared to that one, this one is what I'd use like right here, which I don't think I grabbed a brush. Oh, I didn't grab a brush for that. I'll just use my concealer brush. I got to grab a brush. And what I'm going to do is lightly just stick it right here. As you can see, it's really dark. So this using as like an under eye concealer wouldn't work just drowned hopefully these look even this is what I hate about this and then I'm just gonna stick this all in the spots where I kind of want it bronzed out oh I hate it when my hair gets stuck in there and then just lightly dot it and you can see where I did this And I think I'm gonna do some on my nose. And I don't want my nose too contoured, so I'll just lightly do that. Then we're just gonna lightly contour this. I think I'm gonna take some of my beauty blender and try to blend this out. I think this is the hardest part about doing this is like trying to get that color blended because I've noticed when I let it sit on my face for too long that kind of like it's harder to blend out. So I just use this sponge a little bit just to get the product in there. Especially around my nose too, that's the hardest part. Is getting that color around my nose to look good. And then this is usually when I get a brush too and help it blend more. And again, you can use colors that you feel like will fit your face. You don't have to like, sometimes I forget like when I'm blending, I start crouching down and then I'm like down here and you're like, I can't see you. So I have to remember to like stay up. <laughs> And then pat down here. So it's not completely blended, it's still a little oh, still a little weird. So I'm gonna take that brush that I used to blend out the concealer and just kind of in circular motions, just get it blended. And it doesn't really matter if it kind of goes away because we're just gonna go over with like a darker powder bronzer and get it blended again I just want some type of like transition color in my face that way it kind of helps bring out the colors and then when you do the bottom I feel like when I kind of like pull it downwards it kind of gives my neck a better shade and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in with some setting powder my hair keeps getting stuck okay so I'm gonna go in with some setting powder. It's not really setting powder, but I use it as a setting powder and it's my Airspun Loose Facial Powder. 
which this is like my holy grail of powders. We're just gonna go in, this will set the foundation too, I hope it. Instead of it being a little creamy. That way when we go in with <laughs> the powders, it'll help it a whole bit better. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit and just like pat it everywhere. Mostly on the light parts because that's gonna help some creasing later. So, can you see it? It's all crazy. And then I'm gonna take like a regular um, large stippling brush and kind of blend that in. I feel like this stippling brush is like my holy grail shading brush for the face. And you know how like shading brushes for your eyes are like super amazing. And it really makes a difference, but I feel like this one for my face is like awesome. Get a little bit on there and just kind of like spread it throughout your face in circular motions. For the first one I'm going to use, it's just like something that I got in like a cute little like makeup package. It's probably like one of the smallest amount of e.l.f. products I have, but it's the from the Little Mermaid line that they had. I don't remember when they had this, but I found this at Christmas time and I don't know if they were still selling it, but this is the Surf's Up. And what this is, it's just a cute little bronzer. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna use this as a transition color all over my face, like in the contour areas. I'm gonna use like a really big deluxe um, blush brush. Kind of blow that off. And kind of just like lightly go in. Just around this corner and then up right here. Kind of around your hairline. forehead around the hairline not too dramatic so just kind of like get it in there and then and then a little bit more like right down here So it's kind of like a bronzy transition color, you can see. And it doesn't help that my lips are still pale, so it's kind of weird. Oh well. What I'm gonna go into is my BH Cosmetics Forever Nude palette, and this is like some blush and like contour ones. And I've got like pretty like yellow highlighter and then a regular highlighter right here. But we're gonna go in with this darker color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just right here in the corner and kind of shade it out. Ooh, move my hair and kind of just blend it in circular motions right here in the corner just concentrate it right here in this area you don't want to bring it anywhere out and whatever's left on your brush just kind of like pull it onto other parts of your face because that's not going to hurt it's not like a bunch of products going to get on it and then the same thing with the other side Let's just keep it deep right here in this little corner that way you have a nice transition shade on your cheek. Oh, my hair. Okay, I'll try to get closer. And then just a little bit more right here because I feel like I'm a little late. Nice, you can see it. And then I think a little bit on the top. So it kind of looks like I went to the beach a little. Let's stick some right. Whoa. <gasps> We can fix that, don't worry. And if you make a mistake like that, if you get too much product, whatever you used for your powder brush, you can kind of like blend that away. It's kind of like a nice blending eraser, but it still keeps the product on there. So I don't want too much on my chin. It's a real nasty monster right there. Ugh, go away. Anyway, so we got a nice bronzy look. And then what I'm gonna do next is in that same palette with a little highlighter part right there. I take that and then I'm going to go all right here in like a C motion just to give it some kind of nice um, shimmery glow because this look is just like a nice summer bronzy shimmer glow to me. I use this like if I'm going to the pool or something. I don't do my makeup fully for the pool but I'll do like my cheeks just to make it look like I have some type of sun. I think I'm going to 
use that brush. I'm gonna use this blush brush because it's easier. And then go in. With this look, you really don't need any blush because we have so much bronzer that I feel like if you added a blush, it would just kind of like make the look look really overdone. And this is more of just like a natural, natural um, glow, even though I'm using like 10 pounds of makeup. So I think the highlighter like makes it look like really glowy on the cheeks. So I don't know how well you can see that, but it kind of gives it like a nice little glow right here on the cheek. And then later on, you'll probably see it up here in my eyebrows. But yeah, we've got that down. And if you want to add more, you can. I think I'm going to add more to my neck because it kind of looks really washed out here. And I just want to make sure that my skin is even. So I'm going to go right here. I have like a turtleneck. It's kind of like wrinkly like a turtle. My mom always makes fun of me because my turtleneck... <laughs> That's what she calls me sometimes. She's like, oh, you have a little turtleneck. And I'm just like, no, I don't. <laughs> That's not what I want to be known for. So I'm going to add a little bit on my little, on my collarbone right here. Not too much. That way it looks like I've got some type of sun on my neck and not just like weird tan lines. I think I'm going to add some. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes and I'm going to put my Urban Decay um, Anti-Aging Eye Primer on. There's nothing special. It's just what I use every day. Notice, like I've been trying to like figure out what's causing the oily eyelids and I've noticed it's me using too much primer. So I've had to cut down on how much primer I use. I think it was just because I was using just a little bit too much on my finger and so I've had to just put like less not a big deal, but it worked out. I'm taking. I'm just gonna take a regular shading brush because this is just like an easy look. And I'm gonna go in with this dark kind of bronzy gold shade. And this is the Wild Child from BH Cosmetics. This is my favorite palette because it just has natural shimmer colors. I'm gonna go in a little bit with that, blow it off, and then just like lightly stick that all over my lid, which it's gonna look really crazy, but it's okay. gonna look like that looks crazy but once I get the darker shade in there it'll look really nice and then get that all over kind of blend it out which probably didn't help that I used a blending brush to do that but I forgot the other brush I was gonna use, so it's okay. Bronzy color. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take like this little crease brush and take this darker color right here. It's like a dark brown right there. And kind of go in the crease right here. And you just wanna stick it right in this corner right here. You don't wanna go anywhere else because we're gonna blend it out. To kind of smoke it out a little bit. Because this is going to give our eyes a nice smoky look in the corner. I don't want an extreme smoky look, but I want it like I have some type of eye definition. And then, if you see me awkwardly wink at the, at the camera, it's because I'm trying to figure out which, which eye I'm looking at. So like I did this because I'm trying to figure out why this eye looks so light than this one i think it's just the lighting so if you see me doing this weirdly it's because i'm trying to figure out which like eye i'm looking at in the camera Ugh, i'm a mess and then i'm gonna take that same shading brush and just like blend the corners out into the rest of the look of my eye stupid table Doing a nice pretty little gold color very simple I'm gonna go in for my liquid liner I'm gonna use the Maybelline line stiletto I've been using this for so long this is gonna be kind of hard I'm gonna try to like make sure I don't get my hands in the way but what you're basically gonna do is you're just gonna put like a really thin line no cat eye no little wing if you want to do that you can but for me this look is really just like natural and I don't want it too much wing in it so let's see if I can do this So 
do this as there we go I just want to line the eyes So for the mascara, I'm going to go in, I'm not going to curl my lashes, and I'm not going to use any fake eyelashes either because this is really natural. And like, if I'm doing a natural look, I don't have time for fake eyelashes. So I'm using the Voluminous Manga Mascara as just like a comb, basically. This isn't really like putting anything on my eyelashes. I just use it as some, it has like a little product left over, but this is one of those things that like when it gets dried up, it works better. My feet are falling asleep because I'm sitting on the floor. It hurts. So next is a weird trick that I've recently learned, like so weird. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of baby powder and sprinkle it on this spoolie and then stick it on my eyelashes. That way when I stick another coat of different mascara, it makes them look fuller. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And see if you want. I'm just gonna stick it right on the top. Can't really see much of the baby powder, but it's on there. And what this does, it just like spreads out the lashes and when you put another coat, it kind of like holds it on better. So I don't know if you can see, kind of see like a little white powdery stuff. That's what the baby powder is. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is my Holy Grail mascara. I love it so much. And then I'm just going to go in again and just like put that over it. gives my lashes like a fuller effect instead of using fake eyelashes because I don't feel like wearing fake eyelashes today it's just too much trouble I hate it when my eyelashes do that they tangle up see so that gave it like a fuller eyelash effect and um, I don't think I'm gonna do bottom lashes but I'll think about it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same um, dark brown color and I'm gonna go all on the corner creases right here. Sheep. There we go. Ouch. Okay, spread that around. Then I'm going to take just a regular blending brush and just kind of like ow, blend it out nicely. I hate it when I brush my eyeball. It hurts. There we go. Ow. Eyelash got in my eyes. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my eyeliner and instead of just sticking this all on the waterline what you want to do is you want to get this like right strictly in the corner right here you don't want to get it anywhere else because you're just gonna have like this big black band and I feel like for a natural look this really makes it look as natural as possible even though we all know where I'm wearing like 10 pounds of makeup it really kind of like opens up my eye a little bit versus putting it all on the line Here we go. It's a nice pretty bronzy look. And I don't look like I have a big black belt underneath my eyeball. What next? Oh, we gotta do eyebrows. Shit. My battery's gonna die. Okay. So for a natural eyebrow look, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Perfect Brow Pencil. Nothing crazy. Where's my palette? Shit, I almost lost it. Then I'm gonna take this and just line, lightly line my eyebrows. for that and then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade in the same color this one is taupe they're both taupe colors so I feel like this one's a little bit darker my feet are falling asleep it hurts ow 
I'm gonna switch my legs around. And then we're just gonna concentrate the dip brow like in the corners. Oh, I gotta try not to do this. And get it. Whoa. Oh, perfect. Hopefully I can get the other one as perfect as that. I hate it when I do my brows and they're not perfect or they're not the same. Let's see if I can do the other one. Almost. I almost had it. Almost. Whatever. Close enough. My eyebrows are never on point. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was a really useful, helpful tutorial. Um, I know as I was editing, um, the last part of the tutorial was basically just me doing the lips part. Um, all I did was like a soft, light pink lip line and a little soft um, lip gloss. So thank you so much for watching again. Sorry that it got messed up. Um, if you like this video, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the like button for me, please. And if you'd like to see more, um, comment down below of what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I'm not going to make. What are you going to teach them? Are you going to teach them how to put on makeup? No. Okay. Say, say thanks for watching. Don't cut it out. Oh, you're tired. Say thanks for watching. No. No. Okay. I want to talk. It's yeah. okay. Are you grumpy? Mm. Okay. Mm. Say bye bye. Mm. Say look, just say bye bye. No. Bye. No.